Welcome to episode number 15 of Generations Collide. In today's video, the Thunder Dome era will take on the new generation era. Thunder Dome era are an absolutely busted team. They have just lost one and that to the defending champion. So that doesn't take anything away from the CV. Bret Hart for the reversal on Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns who just loves to reverse stuff. Bret Hart with the discus clothesline. Very quick from Bret Hart, two of the best of their respective eras. One of the best characters, this is one of the best pure wrestlers in the business. He made every match look good, doesn't Bret Hart? He could have been there for much longer, had it been that for Goldberg. And his performance actually diminished when he changed to the GCW, so can't blame Goldberg entirely for that. Bret Hart is being worked on the apron. This team is really strong. They are quite similar to the reality era, minus. Aegis has been replaced by Triple H. Roman Reigns is cooking for the spear. The signature taunt. Roman Reigns. Spear connects with Bret Hart. He doesn't reverse it. It was the first one, but not this time around. No one's going to say Bret Hart. HBK is a bit too late. Diesel was down, so he couldn't save him. Seth Rollins has been tagged in. The man who is known for reversing signatures. Both of them have the grip. Both of them are dressed in pink. Bret Hart is the OG of pink because. I don't think anyone else would have had the guts to be a top star and wear pink during that era at least. One scan because it's more accepted during these era, this kind of era shin breaker from Bret Hart and a big sharpshooter that was quick. Randy Orton gets it with the first finish of the night in the team of Thunder Omira obviously, the lockdown era. This is Styles era plus Thunder Omira because Styles era didn't really have stars and it wasn't that different. Just pre white would have been added new probably. But I don't want to add be white to be honest because he would make the team very strong. <laughs> Fiend with mandible claw. And that actually makes the, that team very strong. But I might. But since this team is working so well, I'll just let it be. If AJ Styles doesn't perform, I'll just add him Fiend. Because why not? Bret Hart tried to go for a second grapple in the corner. Couldn't connect. Randy Orton wanted to go for the RKO. Couldn't connect. Red Hart now is trying to go for double team tags in HBK. HBK versus Orton. HBK is the star of the team. Ministry of Darkness and Day can feel at times, but HBK always feels. HBK gets an immediate first finisher. I just predicted that for some reason. Like, I was just really too early to predict that. I thought that he could have lasted longer, but HBK gets eliminated early nonetheless. He is good in regular matches, not in uh, these knockout kind of matches because his body is made so fragile in the game. This gets knocked out very easily. He's very fun to play as. Undertaker with a tombstone. Does it have a second reversal? No, I don't think so. And Randy Orton has been eliminated. He took the second finish of the match back to Eagle Undertaker with a spinning tombstone power drive on AJ Styles. He survives that one. Undertaker, like I said, he needs to perform in order to for this team to succeed in the long run, Bret Hart always performs. He's almost like uh, Sting in a bit, Sting a bit like in the previous year's game. And now Diesel, who is one of the best players for the team of WCW, tried to go for the power bomb, jackknife power bomb. He got reversed. He just starts with a chop block from the front side, not a rear chop block. So that's surprising. And now AG Styles. With an apron slam on Bret Hart, who uses his iron jaw for some reason. That was a waste of stamina. Diesel, not one of the biggest stars during that era, but he was good. Like his partnership with the HBK, his match with The Undertaker, those were like decent matches. Wasn't the greatest of wrestlers during that point. WCW and Nash is a different beast, so Jack and I fall bomb this time from Kevin Nash. This is a different way. I think it got reversed. AJ Styles is punching. Diesel down and plants it with a big clothesline. AJ Styles has reversed two finishes from Diesel. Roman Reigns has been tagged and he doesn't have a finisher. But he will just drop him with that signature kick of his. That kick is so quick. Third fastest regular move in the game after Hogan's knee and uh, the um, tackle, the regular tackle, running tackle. I don't know the name exactly. The takedown, sorry, it's a takedown. That's the quickest move. After that, it's the Hogan's running knee, and then it's Roman Reigns' kick. So it's one of the best moves. Hogan is the best wrestler to play as in the game. 
if we can actually work around that double reversal in the leg drop that or you can just cook a super finisher if you're that good and you can get a super finisher very quickly you are very good you are like if you or even if you and if you can stun someone and that is a blockbuster from roman reigns you don't see him doing that Bret Hart is getting smashed on the mat head first AJ Styles has been tagged in both Rollins and AJ Styles are in very good shape Bret Hart with a slow cross body look at him very happily actually <laughs> captured knee lift and he's trying to the center of the ring Bret Hart wouldn't be able to go for the sharpshooter because AJ Styles is very to well the Undertaker is going to be tagged in it seems Undertaker has been tagged in once again New generation era need to preserve him if they want to. And AJ Styles didn't do any damage to Undertaker with a chop block. Like I said, that chop block should do damage to the opponent. It would damage the person hitting it more because there is a lot of chance that you are hitting someone's knee. Like your face is hitting someone's knee. Sorry. Like because chop block is mostly putting your weight onto the rear part of the knee. But if you are hitting towards the knee, wouldn't it hurt more? But you never know. Insights repeat. And now Diesel who got both of his finishers reversed. Is tagged in. Bret Hart is the only man in the team with a finisher choke slam. That's a keen choke slam. That gets reversed with an arm drag from AJ Styles. It's been good. AJ Styles has been reversing a lot of finishes today. Big DDT. Orton is the only man eliminated from the team of Thunder Romero and Shawn Michaels got eliminated with a single finish. Roman has a signature. He's going for the Superman punch, drops Diesel. If this spear connects, it won't eliminate Diesel because his body hasn't taken any damage. But I won't be surprised. He goes on like that. Diesel doesn't get knocked out like expected. But Roman is doing his job. Bret Hart is going to save Diesel. Undertaker is the only man who can enter the ring now. Except he's, he's legal. So I don't think I'm going to count him. Reversal by Diesel trips Roman Reigns down, powers himself up for a finisher. But Roman Reigns is way too quick. He has hit combos in the game which he has never in his life. Undertaker has been tagged in. Roman is going to change his mind. Both men dashing towards each other the running DDT. Okay, that's also a very quick move. Forgot about that move despite Undertaker being in the match. That is also a very quick move, but it's easier to reverse than other moves like if someone is aware that you're coming after him he will be able to reverse the ddt on the other hand that kick is so difficult to reverse the knee can be a bit wonky and that rolling thunder stunner which face and wallet does is one of the toughest finishes to reverse along with crossroads stopping the arm undertaker wastes his stamina headbutt from roman reversal from the undertaker cheap shot misses and now undertaker is going to work the arms of the tribal chief who is the strongest member of the team and performs like one actually Undertaker is the strongest member of his team always has been Undertaker is in the match he is always the best member regardless of who is in the match even if it is Roman Reigns in the match Undertaker is still the best member the only competition I see for the Undertaker is probably Batista because Batista is also has the similar Easy to hit finisher, difficult to reverse finishers, and then Jackknife Powerbomb. Does it get reversed? No, it doesn't. Seth once gets hit with the first finisher. A quick Jackknife Powerbomb. Diesel powered himself up, but he tagged out, so he had the finisher in hand. Seth Rollins instantly recovers. Wanted to go for the storm, but he got caught. Double team attempt. Bret Hart is going to be tagged, and he has a sharpshooter. I don't think a single sharpshooter will be able to eliminate Rollins will help in eliminating Rollins reversal either way from Rollins and now he will try to go for the stomp but he went for the grapple now he goes for the stomp chop attempt that missed so Rollins will capitalize with a big stomp on Bret Hart Diesel once again is going to save his partner Undertaker doesn't want to save anyone he is the ministry taker why would he he is the villain of the story this was supposed to be Undertaker 95 but Undertaker 98 just seems to be cooler Ministry Taker is probably one of the coolest versions, despite not being booked well. Both Diesel and Bret Hart were looking menacingly at Seth Rollins. This is not a pretty sight for Seth Rollins at the moment. The sharpshooter connects, it's going to be bad, but that got reversed. And Bret Hart has lost a finisher. 
he will get a finish and now once again so undertaker is going to be tagged in once again he has signature just connects Rollins is going to be a big trouble drop kick misses from the undertaker Rollins wants to go for a double team i think he's going to tag in ag styles no he's going for a superplex i think he's going for that double falcon arrow broken arrow combo yes he is yes he is he's going for a signature on the undertaker one of the coolest signatures in the game by Seth freaking Rollins goes for a cover. That was a cool move. I deserve to have a cover after this. The same way he eliminated Roman Reigns. Defended actually. Defended against Roman Reigns in a raw random episode of Raw. In my universe mode. I needed to cap I need to emphasize on that. After that Roman Reigns defeated him either way. But, but if we can defend against someone like Roman Reigns in this game. You're good. That's the thing right. Roman is way too strong. Even better than his own merit actually. Because he shouldn't be that good calf crusher from AJ Styles. And that eliminates Diesel. Bret Hart goes for a sharp shooter. That might eliminate Styles. No, actually no. There's no chance he eliminates Styles there. Styles. Okay, I was wrong. It's 2v2. Roman Reigns with a quick Superman punch. The AI is on an offensive at the moment. Undertaker saves his partner for the first time. It's been a long time since I've seen Undertaker do that. That's the desperation the Undertaker has at the moment. Roman Reigns is still at full health. But Hart needs to go for the pyro because Roman Reigns has been damaged on the head enough. But double team denied by the Undertaker and Bret Hart. The can reverses the spear. That was very smart from Bret Hart. Roman Reigns had the right idea but the reversal was very good from Bret Hart. He paused midway. He moved backwards if you notice that. And he prevented DDT. And Bret Hart with a smart pile driver on Roman Reigns doesn't knock him out, obviously. Roman won't be knocked out this easily. He is going for the sharpshooter. Only if he would have been stunned, that would have been so much better. But Bret Hart connects with a sharpshooter. Let's see if Roman Reigns gets knocked out with this. Doesn't get knocked out. He isn't going to tap out either, so resiliency won't be wasted. Roman Reigns is being worked again in the arms. Bret Hart is one of the best wrestlers, even though that doesn't resonate in the game. Roman Reigns! Yeah. I knew he was going to go for the spear. Bret Hart, you never gave him distance. That was a reversal from Roman Reigns that hurt Undertaker a lot. For some reason, that was just an elbow. Elbow hurts. I know elbow hurts a lot. But in the context of the game, it is a very quick paced game. So. I'm surprised that that animation played for that long. It's a lot uh, quicker than most of the older titles before 2022. 2022 started the trend of the game being quicker. And then they slowed down with uh, tired finishes. Goes for a cover against The Undertaker. He has insane stamina and insane kick out ability even in the game. Undertaker's character absolutely resonates in the game. If they will work on his moveset and the cinematic cuts more, Undertaker will be very cool to play as in the game. He still is. His tombstone is a problem. It's a double-edged sword. It sword, sorry. A double-edged sword. It's uh, not cool to look at, but it's very effective. The tombstone is so slow. But that's the Undertaker's persona too. Like, he doesn't touch things. He plays it slowly. I, I think I made a sound on my mic. I touched my fingers while explaining it. Rollins with a snapmare. Roman Reigns is going for the big boot. Assisted snapmare. Something Roman Reigns does. Roman Reigns does in the game too. Undertaker is being hammered by the Thunderdome era. Not the not one of the best matchups you would want if you are the new generation era. If you have lost all of your matches, Undertaker needs to do something. Big boot drops Rollins. I don't think a one finisher will be enough for Rollins, but Undertaker's finishes do so much damage. Every single one of his finishes, actually, it looks cool, I know, it's not something like a spine buster that, it's a setup kind of a signature, it's a proper finisher, a lot of wrestlers use that as their finishers, Kane has choke slam as his finisher, last try is American Badass as his finisher, spinning tombstone pile drive on Seth freaking Rollins, doesn't get knocked out, Roman is going to save him too, so, that is good stuff from Undertaker, but it's not enough at the moment, Roman reigns, Wanted to save him. Rollins is going for the stomp. Undertaker stopped him. But Rollins is going to take his revenge. He's going to drop the Undertaker. Undertaker is selling. 
he isn't going to instantly recover Roman Reigns almost has the signature the more time Roman Reigns spends out of the ring the more healthier he stays and easily gets the signature because if he gets stamina like uh, how can I explain it? He gets standing but just by standing there. I think Roman Reigns wants to go for the drive by. No, he changes his mind. What did Roman Reigns do there? That was a big mistake. Andre Tegan now has his signature. Doesn't go for the joke slam. Now he wanted to go for the joke slam in the corner. But Roman Reigns is going to punish him with the drive by. Both men had similar plans. Both men wanted to go for the signature. Both failed once, but Roman Reigns had the upper hand. He's going for the drive by on the Undertaker. Undertaker survives. Roman Reigns is asking for acknowledgement and he knocks out the Undertaker. Okay, that was something weird, but uh, Thunder Rome here have make a, made a comeback in this tournament. They are a really good team, but they lost against the Ruthless Aggression Era team and now they're back to the winning ways as they dominate the team of New Generation Era. So Roman Reigns gets the victory against. The Undertaker. If you like today's video, don't forget to hit the like button. Thanks for watching. Have a really good day. I appreciate that actor.